Hey Bella Bar fam, welcome to your May 23rd workout. So here's the deal. We have five Sundays in May. The Bella Bar memberships account for four Sundays. So this will be your last Bella Bar workout for May. There will not be one on May 30th. So let's get going. On that note, today we are gonna use the bar. I have an actual bar here with me. You can use a chair, um, the back of the chair, mat for floor work if you choose, and then just a pair of light weights. Remember, we wanna keep those five pounds or less. All right, so you got your chair, your mat, and your weights. I'm gonna start your music, and we're gonna start with a warm up. I'm gonna turn up the music. We're gonna lead on that right side, and we're gonna have a little mamba. So we just shift the weight forward, and then come back to set. So we step forward with that right foot. It's a little shift and step, shift and step. So when we step forward, we bend both knees. The core is braced, the chest is lifted, the shoulders are rolled back. Very nice. Just delicate arms here, little running arms, a little more delicate than what we normally do, right? Very nice. Now, we're gonna go into hamstring curls, not yet like we did last week. But this time, we're gonna do single, single, double. So it'll look like this, single, single, and double. You keep the mamba. Let's go to those hamstrings now. So we single, single, and double. Now we single, single, and double. Very nice. So remember, in the middle, I wanna see that little dip, right? It's a little squat before we kick the heel to the glute. Down, up, down, up, and double. So a little training for your mind too, right? Single, single, and double. Last one, when the fingers are gonna come to temples, we go in a single squat. So we go down and up. Very nice. So remember, we're just getting warmed up here, right? So you may not be in your full squat. That's perfectly fine. Just start to send those glutes and hips back. Warming up the lower body. Last eight, seven, six, five. If you don't like the fingers to the temples, they could just come to the hips. Three, two, and one. Give me a big inhale up. Exhale, take that right arm to the left side. Get a nice side body stretch. And then take that hand and gently, gently pull the head over to get a neck stretch. Great job. Inhale up, exhale the feet together. We're gonna mamba on that left side. Let's go, so we mamba and in. So it's a little movement here, right? Just a little dip forward and then stepping it back. Down and up. Now since this is the second round, you may be able to go a little bit farther down and you may be able to lift a little higher. Last eight and seven. And five, and four more, we go to those single, single, double hamstrings. Leading to that left side. Join me now, we go single, single, and double. Very nice, single, single, and double. Where do your hips go at the bottom? Down, in the middle, shall I say. Hips go down in the middle, right? Let's go, single, single, and double. So you're kicking that heel to the glute, right? You're kicking your own butt. Single and double. Last one. Fingers come to temples. We have those single squats. Down and up. Down and up. So again, second round. That means your squat goes lower, right? Down and lift. Now in that squat, when we come up, we wanna make sure we stack everything center, right? So shoulders stack over the hips. We don't want to thrust the pelvis forward like that. No, thank you. Down and up. Last four. Three, two, and one. I like to move it. Inhale up. Exhale. This time it's that left hand that goes to the right side. And then gently have the weight of the hand. Bring your head to the side. Nice neck stretch. I love this stretch. Very nice, give me a big inhale up, and exhale, feet together. We're gonna warm up that core. So you're gonna come down to the mat, and we're gonna sit up. Those hands are gonna 
go behind you. The wrists point into the body, the fingers point away from you. So, the knees are slightly forward from the hips. The heels are on the floor. You're gonna use your core and you're gonna lift those feet up. We're gonna drop one foot and lift, other foot and lift. Now, if this is too much for you, you just reverse it, right? So you start from the bottom up like this instead of from the top down. Working through those abs, getting that core nice and fired up, right? Down and up. Now, if this gets into your hip flexors, try bending the knees a little more, or you can splay uh, those sides out. Down and up. Left eight, eight, seven, six, five. Make sure the chest is nice and lifted. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna stay here. We're gonna go into a can can. So we go to the right, center, left, and center. Right, center, left, and center. So you're spinning onto the biggest part of that glute, right? Working through the oblique. So the muscles that wrap around the body, those rotational muscles, over and in. Over and in. Over and in. Four more. Four and three. Two and one. Take those legs out. You're going to come into a first position so the heels touch, the toes splay out. You're going to inhale the arms overhead. Exhale. You're going to stretch forward, stretching through those back of the legs. If you can grab the feet, great. If not, you can keep your arms up. You can be here. You can be here wherever you get the best stretch for your body. Inhale the chest up, exhale, see if you can just creep a little further down. No straining. Inhale the arms up, and exhale, come to standing. We're gonna start right away at the bar. You're gonna have your right side turned into the bar, okay? So that right foot is gonna be on the floor. That left foot is gonna lunge. We're gonna have three, two, one, drive the knee up. Three, two, one, and drive. So it's a little pulse. We're in the bottom half in that lunge, right? So we stay low, and then we lift. Three, two, one, and lift. We drive that knee towards the chest using those core muscles that we just warmed up, right? One, and lift. The foot comes beside the opposite knee. Four more. So we have three more at this pace. Then we're gonna go into eight singles if you choose. If you don't like that, you stay here. Give me two more, sorry. Three, two, one, and lift. Last one, singles after this, or you stay here. You choose, we have eight, seven, six, five, in four more, the feet come hips distance. And one, feet hips distance. You send those glutes back like you're sitting in a chair. We're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So you're low, right? You're not up here, you're down here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. You're gonna fire up through those quads Really wake them up. They should be screaming by the end of this exercise, right? Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Working through those calves when you lift and lower the heels. Four, three, two, one. We stay with those heels lifted. Drop an inch, and you're gonna give me a little pulse right now. Last eight, seven. So you're dragging that body up, right? Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come up, lower the heels. Are your quads like, what the heck? All right, you're gonna come to the mat. We're gonna do some bicep curls seated. So you're gonna take a weight to each hand. We're in that same position that we were in that core warm up, okay? You're gonna lift that right foot off the floor. You can leave it down if you choose. And we're just gonna lift the arms. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So nice and slow bicep curls. 
We really want the movement to be precise, that deliberate movement, making sure we're using only muscles and no momentum. Lift and lower. Four, now in three more, you can stay here, or for the last eight, you have the option to lift both feet. Really big core workout, guys. You choose, we have eight. Flex the feet, seven, six, full extension with the arms, five, they tap the shoulders at the top, they tap the mat at the bottom. Three, two, and one, very nice. You can leave the weights on the mat and you can use them to help you stand up. Back to that lunge exercise. So this time it's that left side of the body that faces into your bar or your chair. Left foot is grounded, right foot does the movement. We have three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. So a little bit slower than the last round. We're going with the beat of the music. But also, I really want you to focus on getting low, 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 and then lift, right? Zipping up through that core to drive the knee up. One, and lift. Three, two, one, and lift. Great job. Now you choose. You stay with a three, two, one, and lift, or you single it out now. Eight, seven, six, five. Really driving through that left leg, right? The left leg is the one working. And one, feet come hips distance. We send those glutes way back, keeping that chest lifted, shoulders roll back. We lift the heels up and lower up and lower so when we lift the heels right we don't like rock the hips forward no we stay nice and grounded throughout the entire movement right that's where you get the work if you lift up you're giving yourself a break right lift and lower four three and two more we keep the heels lifted and we pulse in that lower half one Lift the heels up, and eight, seven, six. Can you drop the hips just one inch lower? Four, three, I know it burns, two, and one. Try to lift up with the heels still lifted, lower the heels, and we come back to those bicep curls. How was that? All right, so, uh-oh. This time, we lift that left foot. We bring the weights up and down, up, and down, so we're speeding it up a little bit from last round. You got that you're using muscle and not momentum. Try to keep that up with a little bit of speed added. Up and down, the weight go shoulders and mat. Shoulders and mat, very nice. Four and three more, you stay here, or you lift both feet if you choose. Both feet can also be on the floor. Eight more, less eight. Seven, six, and five. Great job, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Carefully come up, you're gonna keep the weight, and we're gonna stay on the mat, but we're gonna come onto the knees. If this doesn't feel good, you're gonna come to standing, okay? We're gonna have a little combination, always on that right side. It's gonna look like this. Ready? We go oblique, in, bicep, shoulder, bicep, and down. So we lean over, we come to bicep, press it up, come back down, and all the way down. So I'm pretty sure we've done this exercise before. May have been a while now. So we're working three different parts of the body. What? So we're working those obliques, bicep, and then shoulder. Triple bang for your butt, right? In, up, in and down. We go over, lifting, elongating that spine before we crunch over, right? Two more. Over, in, up, press, in, and down. Last one. 
Very nice. You're gonna carefully place the weights down and you're gonna come to standing. We're going back to the mat. This time, the left side's gonna come in first. We're gonna bend that right knee. Notice that the knees are in line, the foot is flat. We lift and lower. So, we're lifting and lowering that left foot. That right knee is going straight out to the side and then you're using that inner thigh muscle to drag it back in. Out and in. If you do not like the releve, you're just doing that side lift, right? Lift and lower. Great job. We're gonna stay up and we're gonna pulse. Eight, seven. This is too much, you lower the heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. So back to the mat. Okay, so a little bit of a setup here. That right hand is gonna go out like you're doing a chest push up. The left hand is gonna come in like you're doing a tricep. Okay? So we have one chest, one tricep. You send those knees back. I want everyone to be on the knees. And we're gonna lower and lift. So we go down and up. So you have that right arm that's working the chest. And you have that left arm that's working the tricep. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. You're looking at about a foot in front of you to keep that neck and spine alignment. Four, three, two, and one. Great job, Bella Bar fam. All right, bring the knees in. We're coming back to that combination. This time we're always gonna be on that left side. We go over, up, bicep, shoulder, bicep, and down. Great job. So we just repeat it over and over again to get as many reps as we can for those three different body parts, right? I've got all my sisters with me today doing Bella Bar. Lift, up, in, and down. Fantastic job. Remember, if this doesn't feel good on your knees, you can put a towel on your mat to add some extra padding, or you can just stand up and do the same movement. Give me two more. Gotta make it even. And then we come to that bar. Over, in. Great job. Carefully bring the weights down. Stand up, this time it's that right side that's in the bar. Right foot stays down. Left foot, bend, left leg bends, give me foot flexes. And we're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower. So remember, if you don't like that releve, the lifting and lowering of the heel on the right side, you just stay grounded the entire time. Most important here is that we have that side lift, right? Working that outer hip, that outer thigh, and then the inner thigh to bring that leg back in. Out and in. Last four. Three, two more, we stay up and pulse. You choose, do you want that heel lifted or lowered? Last eight. Seven, make sure your body is stashed. You have a tendency to sort of lean into the bar. You wanna make sure we're nice and centered. Four, three, two, and one. Bring everything in, we're coming back to that mat. So this time we're gonna have the opposite, okay? So it's that left hand that's gonna be out on the chest push-up, right hand that's gonna be in the tricep. Send those knees back. We're gonna go down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Where are you looking right now? About a foot out in front of you, right? Down and up. Really press those fingers into the floor. Press those palms into the floor. Last eight, eight, and seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. I want everyone to come to that plank. I'm gonna turn so I'm facing you. Everybody's gonna go into that perfect plank. So let's set that up. Shoulders stuck over the elbows and the wrists so they're in one long line. We send those knees back. 
We lift the knees off the floor if you choose, the heels press back. We push the hands into the floor, we roll those shoulders back, and we brace the core. We're gonna have a little plank work here. You're gonna bring the knee out to the side, center, and then to the opposite arm. So we bring the knees side, center, and over. Option here is to drop that left knee in and side. Just four more reps. Out, center, and cross. Three more. Side, center, and cross. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Carefully step those feet in. Stand it up. You're gonna brace the core. You're gonna hinge forward from the hips like you're taking a bow. The glutes go back. You take those hands behind you. Palms face the ceiling. Fingers face the floor. And we're gonna pulse the arms in. So working the triceps, the back of those arms, without weights, right? Sometimes when we use weights for the triceps, it gets into our neck, shoulder, trap area. So this helps to take it out of that and make sure we're really working the triceps. Pulse, pulse. So you're trying to pulse the thumbs into each other, right? But they never touch. If they do, that's kind of impressive. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, give me one shoulder roll back. One shoulder roll forward. Very nice. Let's come to that bar. So that left side is going to face into the bar. Left hand goes on the bar. Right hand goes on the hip. We're going to come to a first position. So what is that? It's when you make that big old V with the feet, right? So the heels touch and the toes spin out. All right? We're going to come into pondus. So you point the foot out. Drag the heel in, out, and in. We point out, we drag the heel in. Foot out, heel in. So it's toes and heels, right? Toes and heels. Again, using your muscle to bring that foot out and back in, not momentum. Great job. Making sure your chest is nice and lifted. One long line. We have that ballet movement, right? With our tendus. Four more, then that foot is gonna stay out with the toe pointed, and we're just gonna tap. I'll show you when we get there. Toe stay out, and we just tap, tap, tap. So you're just, it's like you're testing water, right? That cool water to make sure it's not too cold before you jump in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Now we're going to come out to that second position. So the feet go wider than the hips. They're almost as wide as your mat. Not quite as wide though, right? Heels still point in, toes still point out. We send those hips straight down. So it's not a squat, it's a plie. You have that wall behind you and you're sliding straight down it. Very nice. We're gonna lift the right heel, lift the left heel, drop the right heel, drop the left heel. That's your combination. Hold here. So we lift, lift, sorry, I had to be on the beat. Lift right, lift left, lower, and lift. So you look like this. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Lift, I love this song. Lower, make sure we're stacked nice and center, right? Shoulders stack over the hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me one more time through now. For the last eight, you can stay right where we are or you're gonna lift and lower both heels at the same time. You choose. We have eight, 
So option is, looks like this. Six and five, we're not lifting and lowering the hips, right? It's just lifting and lowering the heels. The hips stay grounded. Two and one, very nice. So you're gonna bring that right foot forward, that left foot goes back. So it's like you're doing a lunge, right? Except that front leg is bent, that back leg is straight, fingers come to temples. You're gonna come forward for two and lift for two, very nice. So doing a little standing core work here. Forward and lift. Forward and lift. Forward and lift. Great job. We have four more. And lift. Three more. Down for two. And lift. We go down. And lift. Down. And lift. Last one. Then we come back to that plank work. Very nice, step it in. So back to that three point plank, right? This time it's always gonna be the left knee. We bring it outside, center, and then opposite hand. Remember, you can have that right knee on the floor if having it lifted is too challenging. So we set up that perfect plank, shoulders roll back, heels push back, and we go to that three point plank. We go side, center, and over. We only have eight reps in total. So maybe you can try even just one with the knee lifted, right? Side, center, and cross with the knee opposite knee down. It looks like this. Just four more. We're already halfway done, just like that. And cross. Go side. Center, and cross. Two more. Side. Center and cross. Last one. Side, center, and cross. Very nice. Carefully step it in. Come all the way to standing. Roll those shoulders back. We hinge forward from the hips, sending those glutes back, keeping that chest lifted. The hands come behind the back. Remember, palms face up, fingernails point down, and we pulse. 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 So those weightless tricep pulses, working the back of the arm, right? Pulse. Very nice. Last eight. Six. Four. Two. And one. Very nice. To the bar. All right, this time right side facing the bar. Right hand on the bar. Left hand on the hip. We come to those tantus. Tondu, excuse me, we're in the first position. So we go out and in. Heels touch, toes splay out. We have a big old pizza slice, right? Or just pie. That sounds good too. <laughs> and in. Out, drag it in. So it's toes and heels. So in the tondu, the foot really never comes off the floor, right? You always have some part of your foot that's on the floor. When we go out, it's just the toes, and when we come in, our entire foot is actually flat on the floor. And in. Out, and in. Give me eight more, last eight. Then remember, we stay out with that point, we stay out on that tondu, and we just tap the foot. Four, three, two, one, we come out and tap, 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 tap. So you're not lifting that leg very high, right? That's gonna get in the lower back and kind of make it cranky. We're just barely tapping, right? You're touching the water and then coming up. Oh, it's too cold. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Now the feet go out wide, so we're in that second position. Remember, you're sliding down that wall, so the hips go straight down. We roll the shoulders back. This time we lead with that left foot. So we lift left, lift right, lower left, 
lower right. Great job. So I'll show you from the front again. It's lift, lift, and lower. Great job. Lift, very nice. Lift, lift, and lower. Making sure we're bracing that core super tight, right? Keeping that back nice and straight. Making sure the movement is just in the heels, not in the hips. Eight, seven, six, five, and four more. You stay here, or you lift and lower both heels at the same time. Two, and one. You choose left eight, left eight, seven, six, and five, four, Three, are you guys sweating? I'm like working the sweat. And one, very nice. Step it in, we have that standing core work. So this time it's the left foot that goes forward. Right foot goes back. It's straightened, front leg is bent. Fingers come to temples. We start nice and straight, then we come down. Two, up for two. We go forward, two, lift, two. So even when we go down, we keep that neck and spine alignment, right? So you always look at that same spot, foot in front of you, when you're going down, as well as when you're lifting. We go down, two, lift, two, very nice. Down, two, lift, two. We just have four more. Four, and lift, three more. Last two, please. Last one. And lift, very nice. We're gonna come to the mat. So, Taylor, we're about to do some glute bridges. Obviously, I don't want you to lay all the way on your back right now. So you're gonna stay up, and you're just gonna lift and lower the glutes from here, okay? Everybody else is gonna come down all the way on the back. You're gonna send those glutes and those heels close together. Weights go straight over the chest. We're gonna lift and lower the hips as we open and close the arms. So we have another compound movement here, working the upper and lower body at the same time. We're working those glutes and hamstrings in the glute bridge, working the chest and the chest flies. We lift and lower. If this is too much for you, you can alternate between doing the glute bridges and the chest flies. Another great option, a better option actually, is to spend this round doing, let's say, glute bridges, which means next round you would do chest flies. Very nice. We're gonna have it all, right? We're gonna work all parts of our bodies in Bella Bar. Great job. Really drive those hips towards the ceiling, squeeze the glutes at the top. We have eight more, ladies. Last eight. Seven, six, and five, and four more. We're all gonna join Taylor sitting up on the mat. Two, and one, very nice. So you can rock it up however you need to get up. So, seeing how we've been almost every exercise that we've done on the mat, you're gonna take both weights. If having both weights is too much, you're gonna drop one. You're gonna hinge back, bracing that core. We're gonna row the belt. So you're gonna go to the right, then left. Right and left. So rowing the belt, working through those obliques again. I really want you to dig that elbow down, right? It's harsh water. You really gotta row that belt to get to our destination. We have eight, seven, six, and five. Only four more. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. You're gonna carefully come to standing. You're gonna leave one weight on the mat, and you're gonna take that other weight, and you're gonna place it underneath your right foot. Okay, so left foot is on the floor, right heel is on the weight, right toes are on the floor, you see that? Heel on the weight, toes on the floor. Fingers come to temples, 
and we're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. So remember at the beginning of class when we were at the bar and we were doing this parallel squat pulses? We're doing the same thing now, but we have one heel elevated, right? Great job. Make sure those shoulders are rolled back, that chest is lifted. Now, we have eight more. Can you send those hips one inch lower? Yes, you can. Last eight. Seven. Six, you're so strong. We're gonna finish strong together. Four. Three. Two. And one. Carefully stand it up. Just make sure that weight is out of the way, somewhere where you're not gonna step on it. And you're gonna come to the bar. So last exercise of the bar. That left side faces into the bar. Now this time, instead of the hand being on the bar, I want you to take the whole forearm on the bar, okay? You're gonna bend that right leg, so knees are in line again, and you're gonna slightly hinge forward from the hips. We're gonna kick that foot back and bring it in. So same thing as we did earlier when we did the side raises, except this time we send that foot back, right? So you're kicking something behind you with your heel back and in. So we're donkey kicking at the bar, right? That's what this move is called. Last eight. Seven. Really squeeze the glute, right? That's where this movement comes from. Four. Three and two more. You're going to stay back and pulse. You already know. Pulses are our best friends. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, squeeze that glute harder than you think you can. Two, and one, very nice. You're gonna carefully stand up and you can just stay right here at the bar. We're gonna come into a back movement, again, with no weight. So you're gonna take those arms straight out in front of you, this time palms face down, fingernails face up, excuse me. We're gonna bend the elbows in, extend it out, in, and out. So you're bringing those elbows in to line up with the shoulders, right? And then you're reaching the fingertips out in front of you. So we're working that upper back and into the shoulders a little bit. Also the chest a little bit too. In and out. In and out. Four. Three. Two. And one, very nice. We're gonna stick into back work and we're gonna come onto the mat. So, everybody, except Taylor, sorry girl, is gonna lay on the stomach. Taylor, this is what I would like you to do. I would like you to be on all fours and you're just gonna alternate lifting one arm and one leg at a time. Make sure it's the opposite um, arm and leg that lifts, don't try to lift the same one. Um, and just keep doing that when we pulse you're gonna keep that left leg back and you're just gonna pulse the heel up towards the ceiling. You can have that hand up or you can lower it down, okay? And I'll cue you as we're doing it. All right, so everybody else, all the way down, we're coming into that prone position. Fingers go to the temple and we're gonna lift both ends, up and lower, up and lower. So feet are about hips distance. We're squeezing the glutes at the top lift and lower working through that posterior chain so those muscles that are responsible for our posture very important muscles to work right lift and lower now remember in this movement you guys keep going it's not about height it's about length how long can you mic your body eight seven six five last four three two and one. Everybody stay up. You're gonna flex the feet. Taylor, this is where you're gonna pulse that right leg back with a flexed foot, okay? Everybody else is gonna beat the heels in, in, in. So you're just beating the heels, like you're clapping, but with your heels. Last eight, seven. Taylor, you look like this. If you want, you can have that opposite arm lifted. Four, three, two, and one, very nice. Carefully roll over onto the back. 
This is where we're doing the glute bridges with the chest press. Taylor, if you wanna do the glute bridges again, that's a great option. If you wanna work the chest instead, you can hinge back and do the chest flies with us, or you can do chest push-ups, okay? Everybody else comes down, heels in towards the glutes, weights over chest, we lift and lower. So driving those hips towards the ceiling, excuse me, squeezing those glutes, we wanna make them hard as rock. The weights open up, right? We wanna bring them in line with the shoulders if we can. And then we bring them back up, right over that heart monitor line. We have eight more, only eight. Seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, you're gonna rock it up and we're gonna row that boat. So with two weights too much for you, you can drop a weight. You can also do it with no weights, right? This time we lead to that left, over and over. So you can do it with one weight. You can do it with no weights. Over. So again, you're really digging that elbow down, right? That's how you're gonna get the best bang for your buck in this move, right? Over, over. Over. All right, we have eight more. Eight, seven, six, and five. Four, three, two, and one. You're gonna leave one weight on the floor. Opposite weight comes up with you. This time, that right foot is flat on the floor. You're gonna bring the left heel onto the weight. Very important that the right toes are on the floor, right? Fingers come to temples. We send those glutes way back like we're sitting in a chair, and then we pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse. Very nice. So those hips are way back, right? Way back. Last eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Slowly drag it up. Make sure those weights are out of the way. We come back to those donkey kicks. This time the right side of the body is into the bar. It's that right forearm that comes onto the bar, right? So right foot is on the floor, left knee bends. We flex the foot to protect those hip, knee, and ankle joints. And we hinge forward from the hips. We bring the knees back into alignment and we kick the heel back and in. Back and in. Back and in. So you're making an imprint of your flexed foot on whatever's behind you, right? Back, squeezing the glute, thinking about how the movement is being driven by the glute, right? Just four. Four, three, two. Sorry, give me four more now. Four, three, two more. We stay back in pulse. Eight, seven, six. So it's a little movement, right? If I were to look at you, if you were to look at me, you could barely see it, right? It's a little punch with the glue. Punch, punch, punch. Last eight. Seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, step it in. Send those hands out in front of you. We bend the elbows in and lengthen. So we're coming back to those wide rows, working the upper back. The elbows come in line with the shoulders, then you reach the fingertips out. Eight, seven, 
six and five. Last four, three, two, and one. Very nice. We're gonna come back to those prone lifts. So Taylor, I'm gonna show you again just to make sure uh, you're coming to those bird dogs. So you lift the opposite arm and leg and you're gonna alternate. This time it's that left foot that you're gonna leave at the end and pulse the heel up towards the ceiling while we beat the heels, okay? Everybody else is gonna come completely flat onto the stomach. Feet are about hips distance. Fingers come to temples. We're gonna lift the body up and down, up and down. So remember, you're trying to make your body as long as you possibly can. You are not trying to lift as high as you can, right? It's about length, not about height. Last eight. Seven, six, and five, four, three, two, one. We stay up, we flex the feet. Taylor, this is where you pulse that left heel up. Everybody else is gonna beat the heels in. We're gonna go there right now. Ready? Beat those heels in. Let's go in. In. So you're clapping, but with the heels instead of the hands. Great job. If it hurts, start to hurt the back. You can lower the upper body, right? Last eight. Seven. Squeeze the glutes. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, very nice. Everybody is gonna push up to a plank. Last working exercise, you guys, okay? Last thing for the obliques. Okay, so everybody is in that plank. We're gonna spin open. That right hand is gonna be on the floor. That left hand lifts up, so we're in that side plank, okay? If you need that bottom knee, so it should be that right knee on the floor, this is how it looks, okay? That's gonna lower the intensity. Now, this is level two with the feet, um, with the, excuse me, left foot in front of the right foot. Third and most challenging level is to stack the feet, okay? So right foot would be at the bottom, left foot would be stacked up. We're gonna pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you're actually gonna have eight more, sorry, I counted too fast, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it for the side. You're gonna come back to plank. So back to that plank in the center. Now we're gonna go to the other side. That means that I'm gonna face away from you, okay? So this time it's that left hand that's on the floor, right hand that reaches up. Okay, level one, lowest, inten lowest intensity, is to have that right leg extended out, that left knee on the floor. Level two is to have the feet staggered. That's the word I was trying to think of. Third and most challenging level is to have the feet stacked one on top of the other. Okay? We go into those pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. You have a string. Someone's pulling you up. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Come back to that plank. We're just gonna hold it here. Last eight, seven, six, five. Are you in that perfect plank? Four, three, two, and one. You're gonna bring the knees down. Toes come together, knees splay out, and you're just gonna come into a child's pose. Sending those hips way back, stretching those fingers out long in front of you. You're gonna stay here. You're gonna begin to just slow your breathing. I'm gonna go turn the lights off. Extending through those fingers. Releasing the upper body, releasing through the hips, and just slowing that breath down. Starting to take nice deep breaths, thinking about breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
Very nice. And when you're ready, you're gonna sit up and you're gonna bring those knees together, okay? So your glutes, you're sitting on the heels, the knees point forward. You're gonna take the hands to the heels and you're just kind of gonna lift up. So lifting those glutes off of the heels, getting a nice quad stretch to the front of the thighs. If it feels better for you to have the hands on the floor, that's great too. I really don't care how high you're lifting those hips, right? It's just about getting a nice steep stretch in those quads. Looking up where the wall and ceiling meet. Very nice, carefully come down. You're gonna stay on the knees, but you're gonna come up and you're gonna take that right foot out in front of you. Okay, toes point up, heels are on the floor, and then you're just gonna send those hips back, working through that hamstring, right? So the back of the thigh, opposing muscle grip to the quad. If it feels good to kind of windshield wiper that foot. Some people like to do that. Or you can just hold it. And carefully bring it forward and change sides. This time it's that left foot that goes out. And you just send the hips back. Feeling a nice deep stretch in the hamstring. You can sort of windshield wiper that foot. Great job. Now we're gonna come to a cross-legged seated position or whatever position feels comfortable for you. And we're gonna do a little spinal twist. You're gonna inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, you're gonna twist over to that right side. So that left hand comes onto the knee, right fingertips go behind you, and you're gonna lift that spine before you twist over, right? Get a nice back twist. Inhale the arms overhead and exhale, you're gonna twist to the other side, making sure you lengthen before you twist. Looking over that back shoulder. Very nice, inhale the arms up and exhale, you're gonna take the hands to the knees. We're gonna do some cat cows in the seated position. So you're gonna inhale, lift the chest, looking up to where the wall and ceiling meet. And exhale, you're gonna round the back and you're gonna bring that chin into the chest, stretching out through that upper back. Inhale, lift, stretching through that chest. And exhale, curl. We have one more round. Inhale, the chest up. And exhale, round the back. neutral spine. So we're gonna have our three final breaths to end class. Remember, we wanna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, okay? All right, so you can close the eyes if you choose, you can leave them open. We're gonna inhale the arms overhead and exhale lower. Inhale up. And exhale, lower. Third and final breath, deepest breath you have. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Open the eyes if you close them. Thank you so much, Bella Bar. That was your May 23rd class. Remember, we don't have a class next week, so I will see you in June. Bye for now.